let w be equal to the set of x, y, z in R3 such that 3x is equal to 2y. Prove that w is a subspace of R3. Okay, well if I'm supposed to prove it's a subspace, I need to know what the definition of subspace is. So the set w is a subspace when 1 0 is in W, 2, if U and V are in W, then U plus V is in W, and 3, if U is in W and C is in R, then CU is in W. That's the definition of subspace, so I should just show all those three things. One, we want to show the zero vector is in W. Well, how do I tell if a vector is in W? I tell if this equation is satisfied. So the zero vector x is zero and y is zero, so we get three times zero equals two times zero, so that actually does work. So 3 times 0 equals 2 times 0, so 0, 0, 0 is in W. Alright, that was easy. 2. It says if U and V are in W, then U plus V is in W, so I should start with a let U and V be in W. And I want to get to, at the end, something along the lines of, therefore, u plus v is in w. So I have to connect some working up there. Alright, well, the only thing I know is how to tell if something is in w. So I should write down what u and v are like if they're in w. And the definition of w says that I need to use an equation. So let me actually write down some coordinates for u and v so that I can write down the equation. Write u is equal to, like, I would say abc, but I've already used c above. So um, what about abd? Uh, and v is equal to efg. Then because they're in w, they satisfy the equation. So then... 3a equals 2b and 3e equals 2f. Well, I need to know what u plus v is in order to decide if u plus v is in w. So now u plus v would be a plus e b plus f d plus g, and uh, we want to show that 3 times the x-coordinate is 2 times the y-coordinate. Going to need some more space to do that. So 3 times the x-coordinate, well that's 3a plus 3e. Okay, so let's see, 3a is equal to 2b and 3e is equal to 2f, so let's put that in. 2b plus 2f, and that's 2 of b plus f, so the equation works for this point. So therefore, u plus v is in w, because it satisfies the equation that it is the definition of w. That leaves part 3. So what did part 3 say? If u is in w and c is in r, then cu is in w. So I need to start by saying, let u be in w and c be in r. And what we want to get to at the end is, therefore, cu is in w. Okay, well, I should do what I did the first time and use the definition of what it means to be in u. So I'll write u is equal to a, b, d, then 
because u is in w it satisfies the equation so 3a is equal to 2b so we know that cu is ca cb cd and what we want to know is if, if 3 times the first coordinate is 2 times the second coordinate well from the equation above give myself some more space from equation above c times 3a is c times 2b so 3 times ca is 2 times cb so therefore cu is in w because it satisfies the equation that w vectors are supposed to satisfy so since 1, 2 and 3 are all true W is a subspace um, and it's got three coordinates for each of its vectors so it's of R3 and that's the end of the problem